This is a pretty hard question. It took me a while to figure this one out for what it's worth. Uh, so we've got this distance, and now let's label this out, right? This is 200, and this is 150, right? That's D1 and D2, that's in meters. And then the swimmer is gonna go off at an angle of 45 degrees, and we've got a current of five kilometers per hour. And so what I decided to do is I said the U of the swimmer, okay, Actually, let me do it this way. Hold on. What I said is that the, the V of the swimmer in the Y direction, catch me, right? So that's going to be, if we zoom in here, this is right here, this is VY, and then VX is this number here, right? So we got VY and VX, but the V of the swimmer in the Y direction is gonna be the U of the swimmer, the, the speed of the swimmer. Now that's gonna be at the hypotenuse, right? This is the U of S right here, right? U of S, got it? Times, now since it's 45, it doesn't really matter, but let's say cos 45. So, but we also know that in terms of the of the y direction, he's gonna travel 200 meters or kilometers or feet or whatever it is, it's meters. So that's equal to 200 over some time, right? So because, uh, you know, velocity is distance over time or change in distance over time. So I've got that and I'm gonna do the same thing with the x. So I can say the v of the swimmer in the x direction would be equal to us sine 45, but watch what I do here, I'll assume. But you've also got that the, the current is flowing at five kilometers per second. Now that's still not correct because I really, what I need to do is I need to put a negative sign here because the person needs to swim backward. So it's negative U of S sine 45. And that is also, because it's going to take her the same amount of time, that's going to equal to 150 over T. Now I have two equations and two unknowns. I've got U of S, U of S, and I've got time. And so what I did is I said, well, I, want to, I care about U of S. And so what I did is I rewrote these equations for time. So this is what I came up with. For equation one, I got time is 200 over U of S cos 45. And here, a little more complex, but it's 150 over the quantity of 5 minus U of S sine 45. I then, T of course equals T, if I set equation blue, if you will, equal to equation red, I can then solve for U of S. Now I'm using a solver in my calculator. You may want to look at the solver function on your calculator. And I got U of S to be 4.04 .04 meters per second.